Kodahara from the University of Maryland. This is a joint work with Dr. Vignesh Jagadish and Dr. Robinson Piermuth from eBay Research. Um, so in this work, we propose an algorithm to detect fashion items a person in, in the image is wearing or carrying in the form of bounding boxes. We call this task uh, fashion apparel detection. To do this, we combine state-of-the-art object detection pipeline, uh, specifically RCNN, with bounding box geometry priors and pose information. Uh, as a pose information, we, ref uh, we use joint locations. On, uh, in these images, we show some uh, example of skirt object, which we want to detect. So this is a proposed detection pipeline. So given an input image, we first apply uh, bounding box object proposal algorithm uh, to generate a set of uh, candidate bounding boxes. And for each bounding box, we extract the features uh, using a convolutional neural network. And then for each item, uh, we apply one versus all SVM classifier uh, to compute the SVM score. Meanwhile, we apply the off-the-shelf pose prediction algorithm to predict the joint location of the human in the image. And by combining the SPM scores and joint, joint locations and geometric priors, we compute the final uh, detection score for each bounding box. As in the standard detection pipeline, we apply the non-maximum suppression to, uh, to obtain the final detection. So this is how we compute the detection scores. Uh, the final detection score is computed from appearance-based posterior by SVM location prior, aspect ratio prior, and perimeter prior. The uh, appearance-based posterior is computed by just putting the SVM score into the sigmoid function. And I will describe the location prior in the next slide. The aspect ratio prior is important uh, because some of the fashion items have very distinct, distinctive aspect ratios. For example, belt is always wide and thin. And the perimeter prior is essentially capturing the size of the fashion item with respect to the human body size. So the, we make the location priors pose dependent uh, because the body joint locations and the fashion item locations are strongly correlated. On the left hand side, we show the location uh, plot of the neck and back. The red cross indicates the location of the neck and the blue dot indicates the location on the back. As you can see, the back always appears on the bottom of the, uh, under the neck. And you can see that the back appear uh, on either left side or right side, right hand side of the human body. On the right, we show the uh, location of the left ankle and left shoe. Uh, it is they are uh, clearly correlated. And to model this relationship, for each pair of fashion item and um, body joint, we fit Gaussian mixture model. And to compute the uh, location prior, uh, we, we, com we multiply the Gaussian mixture model probability across different uh, human body joints. So this summarizes some uh, experimental results. Uh, we have 10 different fashion item classes, back, belt, glasses, hat, pants, left shoe, right shoe, shorts, skirt, and tights, and we compute mean average precision. Our full model has 31.1 uh, MLP. Uh, without using any geometric priors, we achieve 22.9%, which indicates the uh, importance of using the geometric priors and human body information for the detection. Interestingly, uh, without even using any appearance features, uh, we achieved 17.8 uh, mean average precision. So in these images, I show some uh, example uh, results. So that's all. 